Hi, this is Tony Caracella. I'm your instructor for Digital Photo. Uh, I've just got a couple things here I just thought I'd go over and also uh, a few tips for your first assignment. Um, it looks like now that Picasa has, uh, Google has kind of opened it uh, up and uh, wrapped it into uh, Google Plus. Um, so this looks, this is pretty recent. I just downloaded the new version of Google Plus and also Picasa for my uh, for my computer. Uh, right now I'm on this one I'm using a Mac but uh, I also use PC too. But um, so for here what I would like for you to do when you upload an album once you go in there and you download uh, Picasa and it will open up on your computer and then it will allow you to be able to uh, create an album of your pictures. And if you're having any trouble with that, you know, uh, give me a call or send me an email. But um, they have a few videos, and if you're also looking for something, um, you know, instructional on it, uh, I noticed that there were some things on YouTube, too, so you could do a little search on YouTube and find a, a little tutorial on um, how you can upload your pictures to Picasa, uh, which also now seems to be known as Google are a part of Google Plus. Uh, but anyway, so what I want you to do, uh, you know, when you complete your assignment and basically upload it, um, the nice thing about um, Picasso is that it'll let you put a bunch of pictures in there. And so here's here's a few pictures from the classes that um, we have on campus too for the digital photo class. This is my uh, last spring's um, digital photo class and uh, I take them out on um, basically a little photo shoot here we'll just like click on one here um, and and all these pictures the nice thing about this is I can then click on on a picture and I can go in here and I can uh, look at the picture and so what I'll do for you uh, at, for next week's uh, critique is I will go in to your pictures and I will also be able to go in here and I'll be able to see what kind of camera and things that you shot this with um, it'll tell me, you know, like your ISO and all, all the different little informations and things. Um, but the, uh, the cool thing about this for me is I'll be able to go in individually, um, go through each one of your photos, just like you're seeing me right here where I'm just clicking through the photos here. I'll be able to click through each one of your photos and I will be able to give you some tips, uh, on, um, on on how you're taking your pictures and I will also be able to see if you've been able to uh, get an idea as to what the kinds of things you know like in this case this week it's going to be white balancing and ISO and I would also like for you to make uh, to make sure I'm sorry for, for any confusion for uh, in the syllabus but I would also like for you to be able to have this for next Wednesday just just upload anytime next Wednesday because I'll be checking them on Thursday morning um, and and going through and making critiques so uh, anyway so um, so do that so anyway the, the the place to go when you once you create an album of your uh, pictures and you can see right here digital photo class spring 2011 post from a couple years ago um, this link up here which is up here in the uh, URL bar up here uh, copy this link and then paste that into the wiki for the assignment page on Blackboard. And then that way, I'll be able to go in and um, uh, once I have that link, I'll be able to go and see your, um, see your album. Also, make sure, you can see right here, you can lock this album or, or unlock it. For the class assignments, make sure that this is unlocked because in the past, I've, I've, I've done this in the past, and if you go in and you say, okay, I just want private, um, you know, just certain people to see this. Um, sometimes it doesn't allow me to go in and, and see your work, so make sure that this is unlocked. So, um, okay, now let's take a look. Just a little, some tips for um, for what you can do in um, you know working with your pictures with white balance and with ISO. And here's just a couple of little examples. Uh, here's some shots taken indoors uh, at a little show at the uh, 66, Highway 66 Roadhouse that's right in um, Webster Groves. 
and uh, a couple of friends playing in this in Kim Massey's band here. So anyway, um, what I you can see like here right now in this picture right here, I shot this picture on automatic, you know, automatic white balance, and you can see that her face is really really pretty orange there. And so uh, so sometimes automatic white balance doesn't do such a good job. And so so what you're going to want to do is in a situation like this, the lights were the kind of tungsten lights that they have, you know, little spotlights and things that they have at these different places. Now, you can see right here, the bass player Gus is, uh, he's, this white balance here is much better. You can see on the guitar strap right here, too, that, uh, you know, that's a much whiter look and, you know, that his skin tone is much uh, more natural. Uh, now, here, let's see, okay, so you can see the difference between this one and this one, you can see this one right here, uh, it's much warmer looking. And, uh, you know, here's this one. I shot this, uh, the white balance was on auto, whereas on this one, um, it was on tungsten. So for your assignment, you know, where, wherever you are, and you can see, okay, like this one right here, this is a much more uh, natural skin tone on Kim Massey here. And she's, uh, you know, much better than, than like this one right here. Much This one's really warm. You know, and then this one's a little bit much more natural skin tone. Now, um, what I don't want you to do, let's see, uh, here's some here's some nice kinds of shots, some uh, some things to think about when you're out shooting portraits. If you're shooting pictures outside, um, you can do something like this. You can see how kind of cool her face is because she was kind of in the shade there, um, in the white balance there. If you're going to use white balance on here. Instead of using auto white balance, go in and, and put it so that it's the shade white balance. Now you might, as you go through there on your white balance on your camera, uh, look at all the different options and you will find that there's one for like a cloudy day and there's one for like shade, open shade. So this would definitely be one for like open shade. You can see the color wise, it's kind of bluish looking. So, uh, the open shade, if you use that, it would warm it up a little bit. So, um, another thing that I don't want you to do is here we'll go back through Kim's shots here, and I have some pictures you can see right here. I used my on-camera flash. I don't want you to use on-camera flash. In this case, I want you to go wherever you're going to go and shoot at using white balance and whatever the lighting is, whether it's fluorescent lighting or um, or tungsten lighting, like in this case right here, but don't use your flash. You can see, you know, that if you're using your flash, the flash basically takes over and controls essentially the, the color of your picture. So don't use your flash like this. You know, uh, here's this is a much more uh, available light looking kind of picture, but um, yeah, let's see what I can get past here. Okay, um, so here's a shot of uh, you know a couple of scientists, um, but uh, in in this particular picture right here, this was shot with a uh, tungsten lights that were these little can lights that are mounted up in a ceiling. So uh, you know, in a case like this, if I didn't have this set on tungsten, it would be you know his shirt would be much warmer. So the whole idea here shoot your white balance and you know for uh, whatever the um, whatever the situation is whether it's fluorescent light whether it's uh, tungsten light or daylight or in some cases shade or whatever make sure you uh, adjust your white balance and so get some shots where you're in a couple of different situations shoot some things where you're inside and if it's under compact fluorescent lights experiment a little bit with uh, the white balance and I think what you'll find is like a lot of the compact fluorescents are white balance pretty close to tungsten. So anyway I want you to get used to setting that white balance and finally uh, we'll also, I also want you to be able to use uh, and shoot um, your ISO and your ISO is really important and uh, like in, in these cases in almost all these cases except for maybe that shot where it was um, Let's see here, the shot where we were outside, I was shooting outside. Um, in a case like this, you can shoot your ISO will be on, you know, maybe something lower, like around 200, 400. But if you're inside, if you're inside and you're shooting, 
under low light conditions like these pictures right here um, I, you can see it's depending on your camera you're going to get a little bit maybe of noise like I probably shot this at ISO 3200 so which is pretty high uh, don't be afraid of shooting at those really high ISOs uh, you know go in and see what the performance of your camera will do now some of the newer cameras are setting their ISOs even up to 125 uh, thousand instead of like 6400 you you're you're up to 120 28,000 so it's extremely low light um, but get in there and find out what your camera can do so the the key is for when you're using your ISO uh, go in and set for in when you're in dim light set that ISO up really high when you're in bright light you can set your ISO down really low like I probably shot you know, like uh, the shots like this, uh, probably shot pictures, you know, these ISOs were somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 or 400. So, um, let's see if I have anything here I want to show you with portraits. I was just kind of going through a little album of um, just some fun stuff. Uh, but anyway, so that, so what I just showed you, um, for ISO, being able to shoot high ISO in for interiors, low light, and um, a lower ISO number for um, things outside where you have plenty of light, uh, those would be the key. And then also pay attention to uh, anything where you want to, um, you know, in terms of your white balance. So on something like this, this is just right right around sunset, so the sky could be uh, you know a little bit on the uh, bluish side. Um, so I may have set my ISO for like open shade. So pay attention to those things. I know it takes a little bit. Um, a lot of times I go in and I shoot plenty of things on automatic, but for this assignment, take the time to go in and uh, make those adjustments in white balance and ISO.